Hey everybody, it's LaToya and I talk about faith, family, and business. I'm sitting in the parking lot right now. Of course, we're not driving. Um, but I just wanted to come on really quick to just kind of talk to you all about um, when you're starting a YouTube channel, be very, very careful um, about the information that you share. Uh, but not only that, watch out for trolls. Trolls are meant to do exactly what they're doing. Um, trolls will um, find a way to get up under your skin. Um, they'll call you names. Some of the funniest things that I've heard while I was on live with my children was, are you a man? Um, I see you have cinder blocks in the back of your, um, in your backdrop. Like, are you in jail? And I'm like, wow, if I was a weak person, it would bother me. But you have to understand when you're first coming onto YouTube, or if you've been on for a while, people will have access to information. They can gain access to information about your life, or they can just pick at you while you're in a live environment. You have to have a strong mind to create for the public because the public, um, everybody is not gonna come on and be nice nice everybody's not gonna like the way that you speak everybody's not gonna not like the way that your hair is done or your makeup is done they won't like your weight they won't like uh, the way that you look everybody online is not meant to like you so that's number one you gotta have a strong mental attitude because when people come online man it's some it's some hilarious people I've actually been on live and laughed my behind off um, at some people who have just tried to be trolls, tried to be nasty. And my kids and I, normally, I'll have my children to be like moderators. But then we have moderators all over this this globe. I have a moderator, an amazing moderator. He's in um, Chicago. One is in Algeria. And, I mean, just different places, you all. So, it's really, really, really powerful as you start to build your online environment. You got to understand that everybody is not meant to be your friend online. Sometimes people just want to laugh. They want to uh, be like the class clown of the internet. And just understand that um, you've got some people who will just naturally be haters. You cannot be weak, okay? So number two, um, understand that you don't want to share too much personal information as well because like a lot of times I'm not recording um, in front of our house or any identifiers to let you know where we are at that time especially if you're going live you got to be careful about um, being you know being live and people being able to get where you are it's a safety issue um, especially if you have children like I have my children on my live and so we go to very inconspicuous places. Like if I'm out and about, you're not going to be able to see my whole entire surrounding to know exactly where I am, these major identifiers. So you'll um, put me and my children in harm's way. I want that to be your number one concern, especially um, moms, dads. If you're out there um, going live and you have your family, you got to understand the safety aspect everybody online is not going to be nice um and you can put yourself in a very unsafe situation like for example um i'm in tech and real estate so one of the biggest things that we were taught not to do is to not go live um uh, when you're at an open house like sometimes your um broker may want you to go live but i learned in my instance my situation that I don't want to go live because some of those times I'm by myself in those houses. You got to really, really, really be careful that you are not putting yourself in harm's way uh, by giving identifying information. I've heard some really scary stories, um, especially being a real estate agent, uh, people coming to the house because you're in a house already. So you've got some really crazy people who will uh, possibly pop out, act like they want to see a house and trap you in there. You got to be careful. Um, and then three, I'll just say this. Understand that uh, being on YouTube is a long game. I don't want you to take as long as I did because I was inconsistent in the very beginning. Um, I started on YouTube in 2010, but my life was totally different. I was married then, uh, was just starting to have um, my children. Like my, my oldest daughter, she was already like six years old um, when I started my channel. 
like she was either six or seven I can't remember um but I was having children around that time because Adam and I wasn't born until 2011 Tiger wasn't born until 2012 and so my life was totally different but I'll just tell you this um I didn't start to be consistent until 2024 um you've got to understand YouTube is a very long game don't get on here expecting to be viral today like you can be viral today if you do something that's like newsworthy um but don't do stuff just for um a paycheck like you have a passion for doing what you're doing and understand that it may take you a while you may not ever go viral but be happy about what you're doing on the way to where you're going and that's my little tidbits like be safe number one um, don't share identifying information number two and understand that YouTube is a long game enjoy what you're doing and, and that's that and realize um, you got to be happy with yourself because trolls are crazy um, they can say some of the wildest things and you have to be to the place where you're strong mentally you have a strong mental attitude and you're not going to break down off of any and everything somebody says so I love you all, everybody. My name is Latoya. I talk about faith, family, and business. And um, I would love to you love for you all to join my community where it is faith-based. We uh, like encouragement. I love to um, just support people um, in like starting with business. Um, I help to put together like plans and stories using um, AI. I've gotten a chance to be um, to go in a cohort class. Um, through the initiative blacks the initiative blacks at Microsoft where I took a Azure um, AI 900 course um, and I've also been in the tech industry for a little while now in middle school I was in SECME which was an engineering club so I've been flirting with the idea of being in the tech industry for a long time and I want to bring more of the tech industry to my YouTube channel where I can teach people how to use um, all sorts of tools uh, to be able to either build out a business plan, um, to build stories, to create um, viral content, to create sellable uh, products and things of that sort. So with that being said, that's the whole purpose of my channel. If you want an encouragement, if you just want a, a, a happy face, a smiling face, come over to us. We love you. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.